so we wanted to install an electric fence in our yard for our dogs so i got a quote from a company called dog watch who would do it for us and they've got all these pamphlets and it's really sweet um but on amazon i know you can get them for like 300 bucks the fence only not with the labor and they quoted me 1400 for the fence and 270 for an extra collar so I'm roughly going to be $1,700 deep if I go with this company. And so I decided, screw that. <laughs> and I will get my own electric fence and install it myself. What up? So I just got this dog fence, underground, invisible dog fence. So I'm pretty excited. I've never done anything like this before. It's the first time I've had dogs. So... I'm going to give you a real, like, amateur review of what this does. Um, so this is what comes in the kit. And I have my book open to tell you what it came with, because it's got this little instruction manual, which I really like, because some of these don't come with instruction manuals. So I think that's a necessity, especially if you're a first-timer. Um, this is the Pet Control HQ Safe, Effective, Humane, Professional Dog Training Aid. So um, you come, this comes with a transmitter, this little guy right here and the lanyard strap for the transmitter, which is that. Um, the receiving collar, which is underneath here, I think. Or actually there's two, because I bought two, because I have two dogs. Um, so I've got an orange and a black collar there. Um, the fence transmitter, which is this baby. Um, boundary wire, which is here. The boundary flags, which are here, which is how you train them, apparently. Boundary wire connectors, looks like these guys. One was poking out through the bottom of the box. Got a hole. No big deal. Still there. Um, a resistor, test light, spanner, long prongs, 5 volt DC adapter, USB cable operation guide, and an 18 volt DC adapter. So, I'm going to go through this and figure out what it all means. Well, it goes on to say additional items you may need. Um, I would pause the video here and make sure you've got all this stuff if uh, you're going to do this. I sure hope I have everything I need. <laughs> oh, and it also extends onto the next page, so all these bullet points plus those three as well. Oof. Okay, I don't know if I'm just being like extra picky here, but main features. Combination of the in-ground dog fence system. I wish there was a space. like. Can you just edit your own manual and make sure you don't put beep warning with vibration and two letter words together and three? It's okay. I know what they mean. Okay, I swear I won't complain anymore after this, but read this. <laughs> Width, which is the combination of warning zone and vibration and static correction zone. There's like so many. Come on, just put the spaces in there, bro. You, How many of these have you sent out? All right. Okay, I'm really done now. Okay, so the first thing I read that I think I'm going to take action on is that um, the remote control should be charged before use and all units should be left on charge for a minimum of four to six hours for full charge. So I'm gonna start charging my stuff now. Okay, so here's one and it turns green, that's awesome. Here's the other one, that one turns green too. This big one goes into the transmitter. going to be beeping the whole time. How do you shut that down? Yeah, I can't deal with that. Anyway, we start charging this one. Oops. It's hard to do with one hand. Okay, and that one's charging too, I think. I don't want to know what to do with this one, though. Why is it beeping like that? That's crazy. I'm pretty sure I figured it out. These need to be charged as well, so I'm going to charge those first, because obviously they need to work. And this one has, like, some batteries, so I'll just leave it. And this one doesn't charge. This one just stays plugged in and beeps all the time, so I think I'll probably stick that somewhere where it won't bug us. Okay, so my idea was to run this through my front 
yard around the perimeter and in a little space in the backyard. Um, so I'm gonna put the transmitter box in the garage even though it says not to. And I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to attach two of these. It says it has to join one continuous loop from the transmitter back around to the transmitter. So keep that in mind when you're buying a dog fence that you have to have a power supply that will make the thing beep and be annoying so away from you that's not supposed to be in the garage and also that this little green wire will go from it all the way back to it okay so i've run this i've run this line all the way down to the yard from the garage where it's getting plugged in but these uh the wire is really hard to like make stay i don't have any stakes or anything so i'm just picking up some rocks I put a rock under this cone, and like the cone is just basically to show me where exactly I'm putting it, but I would suggest getting some stakes or like maybe something to hold the wire down while you're setting it because it won't stay in place. Okay, so I have officially <laughs> bait the boundary. I'm not sure how good it's going to work, but um, you know, we'll see. We'll find out. Good luck. Okay, so my next step to this whole situation is to test the collars. Um, and it's like, you know, in order for your collar... I put this on here. Cool, huh? Anyway, in order for your collar to work, all you have to do is press the on-off button. But it doesn't indicate where this on-off button is. So there's only one button on the dang thing, and it's on the inside right here. And I kept pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, but you actually like have to press and hold it. I haven't turned this one on yet, so let me get the collar out of the way, and I'll do that without shocking myself. See, I just press it until it beeps. So that one's B, so I'm going to push 2, and then I'll make it beep. And then this is 1 over here. That one's A. So I just want to make sure I can make them beep. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go test the fence. So making one pull connection all the way to the backyard and back through did not work. So I made like one big loop that goes around and then back in. And then I even made it like open more all the way to the transmitter and then I added a second set of wires into the backyard that goes through that door and in the back so I don't know if it's gonna work but I'd like to have it in the front and backyard so I'm gonna try it as soon as the collar pieces whatever they're called charge because they're acting really weird so I, don't, I just think they're not charged enough so I'm gonna set them in the charger for a while and then I'll come back Yeah, I saw that. So we're testing the collars now with the dog trainer. You guys can see the white flag border probably. I'm testing to see if the dog will go near it. Because they get a beep first and then a shock. There's the shock. You gotta take him the whole perimeter. He's doing okay actually. I thought he was gonna be worse than Atlas. Another dog freak out. And I forgot to record it. We'll do that again in a sec. Yep, I got a shock again. Try this way. This is good. Try to do that for about 15 minutes and I mean, I think he's doing all right. Yeah, I think he doesn't want to move at all. Do you want to let him off the leash? and see if he tries to roam around on his own. What makes me nervous is that it'll scare them so bad that they'll run past the border, and I don't know how to shut it off. Oh. You know what I mean? That's well, you just I'm, unplug it. I'm just scared that one of them will panic so bad that they'll run the wrong way. I wonder what happens if that happens. Like if they keep getting shocked or if, you know. 
Like, how does that work? I think he gets it. I think that's pretty good, but... I don't know, that's only been like three minutes. You can walk them around in the big area without, um, without coming near the white flag so he knows where he won't get hurt. Maybe try that for a little bit. Because right now he probably feels like you're just leading him to disaster. Because you are. <laughs> It's so weird how he's acting. He's like walking up to you and sitting and walking up to you and sitting and... Okay, so transmitter's right there on top of the garage. I mean, that's not the, that's not the garage. This is the garage. That's the refrigerator, and there's the transmitter. And then we've got wires that go in through that back door. Boop, and then this one comes around the car and down and starts the front. See where the white flags are? That's where we put the wire. I um, mean, you can still see the wire because we're digging the trench in the backyard currently, but this one goes, so we just made one big, long wire around the whole house and then back in through the back door to the garage. So this goes under the fence and then through, which I can actually show you if I'm done. So then the white flags come here and the dogs can um, come back here and then they still have their L shape in the back. And so then it goes down there that way and then to the fence all the way back. And then it comes this way and then all the way into the garage over there. And we're just digging the trench. Show you what that looks like right now. So I've dug my trench and um, now I'm just feeding the wire through. And I got myself this little like really ghetto weeder plant puller thingy. I don't know what the heck this is. I think we got it at the dollar store straight up. But um, you just like push it in and I'm just like pushing it little by little because you have to be careful. You don't want to break the wire, right? That would be totally worthless if you did that because then it wouldn't work. So I'm just like feeding it into the trench that I dug little by little. It said you can use like a wooden paint stick. If I had one of those, I'd probably use it. Actually, I probably have one somewhere, but this was more handy and I'm using it. So there we go. And you should give yourself extra slack just for the record, because we're gonna have to attach wire to wire here, because I did not give myself enough slack. And it's too tight to even pull into that trench, so that sucks. Okay, well, now you know. <laughs>